G'day guys, and today I want to talk about the relationship between fault and responsibility because I believe this can give you great power over your own life. Now some people treat the relationship between fault and responsibility as essentially one and the same. If something is your fault, then it's your responsibility, but if something isn't your fault, it's not your responsibility to deal with that and you're just being, you know, afflicted by someone else and there's nothing you can particularly do about that. But I think this is the absolute wrong opinion to have. The way I see it, no matter what occurs in your life, it is always your responsibility to react to these events. So we can think about a few examples. Say, for example, I am driving my car and someone pulls out in front of me and crashes into me. Now, that crash is not my fault, but it is my responsibility to deal with that crash. You know, now I've got to you know, possibly file an insurance claim, negotiate with this person. I've got to find myself a new car for starters. You know, how am I going to get to work and that sort of thing. So despite the fact that this event wasn't my fault, I still have to, you know, control my own life and I can't just expect, you know, everyone else to pick up the, the slack for me. I've still got to, you know, control my own life. I have this responsibility to myself. And on the other hand, if something is your fault, well, it's pretty obviously your, your responsibility. So if I crash my car into someone, then I'm obviously at fault and I still have a responsibility to deal with that. And it's mostly the same thing. I've got to exchange experience details, you know, can I fix my car in time for work and that sort of thing. Now, the way this relationship can give you great power is by understanding that you are the central decision maker in your own life. You do encounter people in the world, and I know a few, who act like they're just kind of, you know, leaves blown in the wind. They have no real control over their life and they're just being pulled this way and that by external forces. You know, they say, oh, work's so stressful. I haven't got any money. I don't feel like I have any free time and that sort of thing. And the thing that these people don't do is accept responsibility for their situations, no matter how dire the situation may be. It may be incredibly true, outright true, that work is very stressful, you have no money, and you feel like you're at fault continually, or you feel like there is fault being done unto you. But the th key thing to remember, and the thing that really gives you great power, is by accepting that no matter what happens in life, you are responsible for your own situation. Not anyone else. You can't expect to defer this to, you know, some institution or your friends or your family. You are responsible for what is happening to you, no matter how dire it may seem. Now, I'm no psychoanalyst or psychologist or anything like that. I'm just a guy with a webcam. But my guess as to why people don't do this is because it promotes great anxiety. Because if you start to accept that you're responsible for your own situation, then when you look at your situation and it's subpar or terrible, then that provokes great anxiety because this means that you have fucked up in your own life. You can't really blame that on someone else. Um, you have to be able to accept that you have created this environment in which you are unhappy, which of course promotes great anxiety and people attempt to defer this by blaming everything on everything else, you know, blame it on work, blame it on society and that sort of thing. But you're the person who chooses to work there and you're the person who chooses to live in this society. But of course, it is always very easy to externalize and universalize suffering and misfortune and that sort of thing. Oh, everyone feels this way or, you know, this is just the way things are and there's nothing I can particularly do about it. And this essentially hamstrings your ability to make any sort of meaningful change within your life. So again, just to reiterate, I'm not a psychoanalyst. I'm not a psychologist. I'm just a guy with a microphone and an internet account. But based on what I've read and what I've observed and what has struck a chord with me, I think that accepting responsibility for your own life no matter the faults that are maybe yours or other people, uh, that is very important for constructing a well-meaning and um, purposeful life for yourself. Just to pull something from my own life, recently I've been going through an event where I've been, uh, I won't bore you with the details of course, because this isn't a video about me, it's about a grander idea, but essentially I've been tossing out of my head, you know, who is at fault at this inter alteration that I had, was it this, was it the other person, was it me, and I've been, you know, constantly just weighing this up and down and spinning around in my head, and it, essentially I've just been wasting my time, and I've come back to this relationship, and I've just said, look, no matter whose fault it is, whether it was 100% mine, 100% theirs, a bit of both, no matter whose fault it is, it is my responsibility to deal with the aftermath, and this, this is really good for me, and I hope it's really good for you, because it gives you great certainty in your life. Because rather than worrying about, oh, you know, who was this, or who did that, or whose fault it was, or, you know, what could I have done better, rather than dealing with all that uncertainty and chaos, you 
retreat to this very rigid structured format which is okay things are the way they are what can we do about this what can i take responsibility for and attempt to fix and i think that's a great thing to do in your own life so that's the relationship that i see between fault and responsibility based on some readings i've done and also the practical application of this principle within my life you know what's more valuable to me uh, finding who to blame or finding you know what can i do about the situation and uh, I encourage everyone to try this out. Um, do not let anyone ever take away your sense of responsibility. Don't defer that to someone else. You always have this great power within yourself to say to yourself, look, regardless of whose fault it is, it is my responsibility to deal with the aftermath. Thanks all for sticking around and have a good one.